probably asking yourself why does Anushka look the same as her previous video, it's because I'm filming two videos today. I filmed a foundation review, so if you guys want to check that out, make sure to watch it after this video. Bye. Hey everyone and welcome back. So today I am going to be talking about um, foundations that I have been loving lately and that I definitely recommend to you guys. Now I'm going to call this like my top foundations at the moment because it's obviously when I try new products my favourites change over time obviously but these foundations that I'm going to mention today are foundations that I just love and I know I can count on and I know they're not going to let me down in terms of dryness, patchiness, fading, smile lines which is my biggest issue, um, greasiness, just I can overall trust this foundation throughout the whole day. One of you guys did ask me in the comments below to share my favourite foundations at the moment so I thought why not do this video, I haven't done one like this in forever so yeah I'm going to quickly go through the foundations and we'll jump straight into it. Obviously the first one is my Fenty Beauty foundation. I use the shade 330, this is the Pro Filter foundation. Honestly the best foundation of life. If you don't have this one, you need to get it. Fenty Beauty has such a good range and she, Rihanna killed it with the shade range. Like she just killed it and I'm all for that. And it just makes me love the brand even more. The product is just insanely good. It makes my skin look so nice. Control, like matte, but not too matte. It's just, it's just such a good foundation. I can't rave enough about this. Everyone that I talk to who have tried this foundation, absolutely love it as well. So definitely, definitely try this one. I do have a review on it and I'll try and link every single review I've done on these foundations so you guys can have more in-depth information. On all of them my second favorite at the moment which oh my god is a recent one but I have been loving it and every time I wear this foundation you guys ask me what foundation are you wearing and it's the Huda Beauty faux filter foundation I use the shade brown sugar um, which is a perfect color for me I'm so happy with it it does oxidize a little bit but it kind of adapts to my skin tone it's just honestly such a good foundation it's definitely very, very, very full coverage, so you only need the tiniest amount. And I realise when I use too much of this, it can separate sometimes. But if you use the right amount, which is not a lot, it's a perfect all day long. All day long. No smile lines. Like, literally flawless skin throughout the whole day. So, yeah, I definitely recommend this one. But if you have sensitive skin, maybe get a sample. If you're not too sure about it, get a sample as well. They have it in Selfridges and Harrods. So, yeah, you can definitely get a sample. They were very kind to me when I first went in. They gave me a full sample set. And um, toffee was too dark for me, so I went with brown sugar. Another high-end foundation that is so nice is the NARS Ra Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. I use the shade Tahoe. This shade is a bit too dark for me, but I always blend it with my uh, Body Shop Lightening Drops because it's just too orangey and the shade below will be too light. And a lot of you said that in my review video that you are in between like me as well. So when you try Tahoe, it's too dark and when you try Cyber Cruise, it's too light. So um, yeah, I think I'm just going to stick with lightening it with my Lightening Drops, which I definitely recommend to you guys if you have this foundation in Tahoe as well and it's a bit too dark for you. Um, but this again makes my skin look so good throughout the whole day. I can trust it. I don't worry about it throughout the day. I don't need to look at myself in the mirror throughout the day when I'm wearing it. It just looks so nice. The smile lines are controlled. Really, really good foundation. Like it's been getting a lot of hype and yeah, it's definitely a good one. I love it. I know these are all high ends, but I have a couple of drugstore as well. Don't worry guys. The next one is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro Performance Wear Foundation. I use the shade Cardamom. Um, by the way, all these foundations have a pump, apart from the next one. But this foundation is just so good. I don't even know how many times I've said this, but obviously they're good if I mention it in this video. The shade is really nice, the finish is really nice, it's more on the glowy side. But it just makes your skin look perfect, it stays throughout the day, again I can trust it. And I definitely recommend it, especially if you have more to like normal to dry skin. It's really nice and hydrating and comfortable to wear. To be honest, these four foundations that I've mentioned are okay for all skin types, to be honest. But this one's really nice and hydrating, so yeah, for dry skin, it's definitely a good one. And it has SPF 20, which is a plus for me. So now onto drugstore ones. I only have a couple and actually an extra one, which is not really a foundation, but I just had to mention it. I hear the postman. I think I've got a little PR package from EX1. Don't lie, they have new concealers. Don't tell me. 
they have new concealers can't wait to try that in a tutorial soon the next one is the NYX total control drop foundation again this is a really nice foundation it's perfect for my skin color not perfect perfect but it matches really really well that the color that really matches to my skin tone lately is the Huda Beauty foundation um, but this one's in the car in the shade caramel and again it's one that I can trust it doesn't go too shiny on me it stays on all day and it's just a good one and it's affordable and the shade range is perfect for all these foundations that I've mentioned are perfect so they're definitely brown brown skin friendly I think I might put that in the title because I think these that's an for me that's a really important aspect to a foundation is the shade range and if a lot of people can try it and have the option to go try it so yeah these foundations definitely have an amazing shade range especially this one I think they have like over 20 if I'm not wrong but they had a ton of shades I remember that seeing like all the PR boxes on Instagram the next one is the LA Girl Pro Coverage HD foundation I use this shade tan this is almost empty I actually need to go buy a new one this is very dewy amazing for dry skin it's good coverage like it's just really good by the way I feel like all the foundations I've mentioned are medium to full if not full coverage foundations because that's what I like but they're not cakey, they're not like overly full to the point where it just makes your skin look really like congested and you know, nah, nasty. Yeah, they're just really good foundation that I know that I can trust. This one's really good. The only thing with this, I love it so much but it can give slight smile lines compared to the others. But it's still a really good drugstore foundation that I've used a lot so... The shade range is not as good as the others I believe but they're still quite an option just put that out there and then the last one is not foundation but it's a bb cream but i just had to mention this because it's just such a good bb cream if you just want natural makeup for every day just something to even out your skin tone and it's the la girl Bro pro bb cream i can't speak i swear i use the shade medium it's an all-in-one skin beautifier primes moisturizers and enhancing skin paraben and fragrance free it's just so good like when i go uni and stuff pop this on and my skin's even with a bit of concealer, bronzer, and you're good to do it. Go and some mascara. But it's just a really, really good BB cream. It's one of the best I've tried, especially for brown skin, because normally when I go buy BB creams, they never have darker shades. They're always in the in the lighter shades. I don't even know why, but with this one, it is like the right shade for brown skin, and they have some darker ones. So yeah, I definitely recommend this. It's so good. Again, I have done a review on this, so yeah. If not, I think I have, but I will link it if I have. Alright guys, so those are my favourite top foundations at the moment, especially for brown skin. They're perfect, they've got a good shade range, so you definitely have an option. I know there's a lot of high-end, but obviously if you're going to put money into a product, it's going to be a good product, well hopefully. But with these ones, I know there's a lot of high-end stuff, but they just really work well, especially for my skin. And they just make your skin look so flawless, so... Yeah, I'll link everything in the info box and if you want to see more like top product videos, let me know in the comments. Um, if you want to see like a brown skin series, let me know because I really enjoy doing them and I know it helps a lot of you out there and that just makes my day, you guys know. So yeah, thank you so much for watching, I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye!